In this video, we are going to look into the marked differences between the amplitude modulation versus uh, the angle modulation and within the criteria of angle modulation we have frequency modulation and phase modulation so let us first address the mathematical aspects before moving towards the visualization of these modulation schemes that is we have a message signal which is m of t and then we have a carrier signal which translates to a high frequency and we call it as c of t so let us define first the amplitude modulation so amplitude modulation is simply an amplitude which is a function of time multiplied by this cos function and we have carrier which is cos 2 pi fct plus theta naught and this is a general or generic angle which we call as theta of t this is phase and this is our carrier frequency so in amplitude modulation this including the carrier and phase is constant whereas the amplitude is changing it's time varying so information is embedded in amplitude of modulated signal so note that this is the modulated signal and we had this basic signal which links with the amplitude only and this links with the cos function and within the cos function fc is the carrier frequency which is fixed and phase is also fixed so let us move towards the phase modulation that is pm so here in phase modulation the amplitude is not time varying it's fixed and the cos function now it is 2 pi fct plus a new term that is 2 pi kp m of t plus theta naught and again this whole thing is a generic angle which we can call as theta of t so the amplitude is now fixed it's not changing with time fc that is the carry frequency is also fixed and it is not changing with time but this cos function is linked with the message signal and we would have a value which would be added with a constant phase so in short we have a changing phase so this information is now in the phase so that is phase in course the information of a message signal very similar to phase modulation we have a frequency modulation that is fm and again we have a which is amplitude which is not changing with time cos function 2 pi fct plus another term which is 2 pi kf integration from 0 to t m of alpha d alpha plus theta naught so again this is our generic phase which is theta of t so let me introduce uh, a differential of this uh, generic phase so i have d by dt theta of t and i scale it with 1 over 2 pi so this is something which I term as Fi and this is nothing but an <coughs> instantaneous frequency that is frequency at a particular instant of time so if we differentiate this expression with respect to time and scale by 1 over 2 pi so in the first term we would simply have Fc 
in the second term integration and differentiation will cancel out so we would have a plus f of t multiplied by k of f right and this is not changing with time so this would be zero so this is our instantaneous frequency so that is this information is embedded in the instantaneous frequency which is proportional with the basis signal m of t so in fm and pm these are the constants that we use and they are called sensitivity parameters so in pm we had kp and in fm we have kf so in the three schemes either the amplitude is time varying or the phase is time varying in terms of phase modulation or the instantaneous frequency is varying with respect to the basic signal so that is fm so at summary say this is our low frequency signal which is m of t and we can say this is the basic signal this is a carrier signal that is cos 2 pi f c t plus theta naught so in amplitude modulation we have this signal which is amplitude modulated that is the information is stored in the amplitude of a modulated signal and this is our fm so at high amplitude in fm this corresponds to a high frequency that is high instantaneous frequency and low amplitude of the basic signal corresponds to low instantaneous frequency but the overall amplitude of the modulated signal is constant and only the instantaneous frequency is changing over here in am the frequency instantaneous frequency was not changing the amplitude was changing with respect to the basic signal now about the phase modulation so again we have a modulating signal that is the message signal and this is our carrier signal so in the phase modulated signal whenever we have the peak amplitude we would have a phase shift of 180 degree and similarly at the negative peak again we have a phase shift of 180 degree so more details about am and fm their calculations and visualization is given in the following videos.